Hi, this is John the Smith. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a basic setup of JBoss for a developer to use on his workstation or server. Uh, a lot of developers are writing code right now in Java, Spring, Shruts, or just J2EE code using JBoss as an application server. I'm going to show you the basic install of JBoss. So let me log in to the box right now. Now, as you can see, I'm pointing to my website, JonathanMarkSmith.com. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to copy and paste the commands right from my web page so I can paste them into a terminal video to save time for the video and also to cut down on typing errors. The purpose of this video is not to show you how good I type. It's basically to show you the principles of how to load JBoss. So you could also go to my website, JonathanMarkSmith.com, and follow these instructions at any time. So the first step we're going to do is download JBoss. I'm going to download JBoss, the final version, 7.1.1. And as you can see, I'm highlighting it. And now I'm going to copy. And control C. now I'm going to go into a terminal window, and I'm going to do a paste. So as you can see, it's actually downloading JBoss right now as we speak. Once the file is downloaded, we're going to have to untar it. I'm going to untar it to my local home directory, just for demonstration purposes. And it's 55% done. And it's still going. Okay, so it looks like wget has completed the download. Let's do ls just to see if we could see it. So I do a ls, and as you can see, the jboss tar file is downloaded. Now I'm going to go ahead just to save typing again, and I'm going to grab the command that will untar the file. Again, I'm going to do edit, copy, control C, and I'm going to go here, and I believe it's alone. Now what this is doing, it's untarring jboss to a directory in my home. Now we're going to do a look. Okay, as you can see, there's now a directory jboss in my home directory. We don't need the, the tar file anymore, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it by saying start that because it's the only one I have. So now, if we look, the tar file is removed. Let's go back to the next instruction. The next detail on the site is to cd into the jboss directory. cd into jboss directory and I'm going to cd into the bin directory. So now I'm in the jboss bin directory. Now what we could do now is actually start the jboss server in standalone mode. It's pretty easy. All you got to do is type in dot slash start alone dot sh and as you should see any second jboss will be starting up. As you see, it's going through the process, and JBoss is now up and running. But now, it's pretty, uh, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up another terminal window because, well, we got to add an admin so so we could administrate JBoss. As you can see from my website, it shows all that. Basically, we're going to go into the JBoss bin directory which we are already there. If you see, it's a slash home slash jsmith jboss slash bin. And we're going to run the add user. And now basically I'm going to hit A. No real name user. I'm going to just put a name as admin. And the password you can make whatever you want. And let me re-enter it. Oh, my password did not match. Let's redo it again. Admin. Okay, and it's going to say, do I want to edit? And we're going to make sure. So now, right now, I just added the, the JBoss admin user. I didn't have to name it admin. I could have named it anything. Now, let's test out our JBoss install. Basically, you're going to open up your web browser and go to port 8080. And let's, uh, 
let's now open up another tab in Firefox and oh, and I'm going to go port 8080 and now I'm going to click on the admin console as you see it says JBoss is running the admin console and I'm going to enter the username and password I just created so as you see I am inside JBoss now that's all it takes to install JBoss in standalone mode it's pretty simple it took us less than a few minutes to do it and now right now you could uh, set up data sources or install your web applications but that's pretty much all it is to install JBoss so if you have any questions please feel free to go to my website JonathanMarkSmith.com and post the questions there if you need these instructions please feel free to go to my website JonathanMarkSmith.com thank you and I hope you enjoyed this session